Einstein once said, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. Such a beautiful quote by Albert Einstein. Today, I'll be discussing one para summary question from CAT 2021, slot 3. The direction is, the passage given below is followed by four alternate summaries. Choose the option that best captures the essence of the passage. The human mind is wired to see patterns. Not only does the brain process information as it comes in, it also stores insights from all our past experiences. Every interaction, happy or sad, is catalogued in our memory. Intuition draws from that deep memory well to inform our decisions going forward. In other words, intuitive decisions are based on data and not contrary to data as many would like to assume. This is a very important part of this uh, passage. Like, Normally people think that intuition is not data based, it is gut based, it is a kind of sixth sense sort of thing, but uh, not really. The passage talks about that intuition is also based on data which is stored in our memory, deep memory, probably the subconscious or unconscious mind and that is where intuition draws in. So let us uh, read further. When we subconsciously spot patterns, the body starts firing neurochemicals in both the brain and gut. These somatic markers are what give us that instant sense that something is right or that it's off. Not only are those automatic processes faster than rational thought, but our intuition draws from decades of diverse qualitative experience, sights, sounds, interactions, etc. A wholly human feature that big data alone could never accomplish. So basically this passage talks about the human brain and how human brain, brain functions and how it forms memories, draws data and how it creates intuition and how it creates perceptions. So it based on like decades we have been living on this planet like any individual for decades, 20s, 30s, 40s and he might have seen, heard, smelled, touched a lot of things unconsciously as well and brain kind of captures that. Brain actually looks at the patterns and it stores the pattern that is used when you see the pattern again or something which closely remo closely associates or resembles the pattern. That is how the brain does it. Moreover, brain fires neurochemicals. That is the chemistry behind it and the philosophy you have understood. Let us uh, look at the options. The first option says intuitions are automatic processes and are therefore faster than rational thought and so decisions based on them are better. Option 2 says intuition draws from deep memory and may not be related to data but to decades of diverse qualitative experience. So <clears throat> this thing when it says not related to data this is wrong so we can directly mark away option 2. Option 1 will come back. Option 3 says, intuition is infinitely richer than big data which is based on rational thought and accomplishes more than what big data can. So, right, it, it, it said that big data alone could never accomplish in the passage it is written. But if you look at the option again, option 3, it says intuition is infinitely richer than big data. That is something which is not given in the passage and we cannot even assume it. That is why option 3 can be marked off. Option 4. Intuitions are neurochemical firings based on pattern recognition and draw upon a rich and vast database of experiences. So if uh, we actually try to summarize the entire passage, there are certain keywords, for example, neurochemical firings are there, pattern recognition there is there and how intuitions are formed by drawing upon rich and vast database of experiences. So option 4 precisely summarizes the entire passage. If we look at option 1 again, it says intuitions are automatic processes and are therefore faster than rational thought and so decisions based on them are better. It is contrary to what passage actually says, intuitions are also based on rational thoughts and they are not faster. That is why option 1 can also be marked off. Option 4 is the most appropriate summary of the given passage. Hope you enjoyed this solution. Watch out this space for more such videos. Thanks.